Arabella. <laughs> I'm back and I have a new uh, principal. Uh, spooky baggy uh, thingy. <laughs> of course. <laughs> my own name for my own new printable um, so I made a book out of it yeah it's called spooky baggy spooky yeah uh, my, need my my brown spooky baggy that's what it's called so I made a book out of this is my sort of a mock-up and I wanted to try what I can do with my own new printable of course so this is uh, these are the inside papers I used uh, one of the sort of a neutral like paper and I made this a top loading pocket like this I left the corner a little bit open so yeah and here I followed the line from the shadow that you can see when you print it out. So it has a, a faux a stitch. I have some light going on, so I'm sorry about that. And on the other side, I made a, a side pocket from the other spooky. And here you can write the name uh, for who it's for. So the children. This is just so, by the way. <laughs> also, I paid attention to the details. So here is candy and a doily and also candy and this one is carrying candy this is a see-through uh, spooky <laughs> this one and on the back side is uh, this printout i folded it over so this belongs to this this is now the back side and this is the front so this is really a little bit for a girl but it could be for a boy because there's a lot of there is blue and pink and green so it could be for for whatever <laughs> for everybody <laughs> so this is the book i made but i and i also worked a little bit on faux pages to see because these are printouts that i sort of uh, uh, printed out to try so a lot of my other designs from uh, because I uh, yeah I uh, have three new uh, principles in my shop and by the way I have still 20% discount so up until and uh, with the 31 uh, of October so that's really cool and um, I saw this in my stash then I saw this paper and this is from when I ordered something and it was to protect or not that that what was inside the box that it didn't, didn't uh, uh, move around as much so I uh, I did uh, make because I know this is sort of craft brown paper bag um, paper so I also made a faux leather with this so I really thought that paper will come in handy and it does for this also because and I also want yeah I will show the other pages in a minute I have more pages uh, that I can show you and I make this for the, for the first page in the book by the way so this will go like this and I really like it that the pages are a little bit smaller and I want to back it up with something so that you can reach the pockets really well so but I made it in a way this is also onto uh, recycled cardstock by the way but I made it in a way that you can also print it out onto that paper that I just showed you and what you then get and what you can make is a little small uh, baggie and that's really really cute I just uh, uh, used the glue stick so but you could sew around the edges and you can make this with your children and grandchildren and you can cut it out on that edge to make really or fold that a little bit the, whatever you think that works best 
Also, you could use double-sided tape. That's also a possibility. But isn't this cute? I really love this. <laughs> it came out really good because I made the, made the design a little bit bright. Because I thought when you print it out onto brown paper back uh, paper or brown paper like this, then you still see the design really well. So I also um, printed it out, um, printed this other cover out. And all you have to do is just fold it over and then glue the edges. That's all. So I could show you how you could do it. It's so easy to make because, yeah, Halloween is almost here. So when you go trick or treating and you want a baggie, so you want a personalized baggie so you can write the name uh, of the children uh, who it will be. From, uh, you can write their name onto the design so also that's also what I uh, wanted so let's turn that around and then just fold it and try to um, put that onto the thingies <laughs> onto the corners try to match it up and then Press it down, you could fold this, do whatever you like, but yeah. And then before it's dry, use your bone folder. You could use double sided tape, of course, but I just wanted to, of course, I'm ripping it because it's still a bit wet from the glue. So that's why double sided tape is perhaps the best way to go. But I just wanted to show you real quick how that looks. And that's so cute. So this is what I had in mind. But when you see it, you, you will know it, how it looks, right? So now I'm amazed. <laughs> and I have two baggies that I can give away. So I think I'm thinking about my... Um, yeah, my uh, neighbor uh, children that I have here, I could do that, but I don't know, or give it to my family. We have a lot of, lot of children in my family. So what you also can do is keep the baggie in the book and then uh, when it's time to go trick or treat, then you get your baggie or um, you could save it uh, with that. It's a little bit too big, I think, to put here because there's this fold. But um, that's not even a side loading pocket. What am, what am I doing? <laughs> but it could fit into it when you fold it. But then you have a, you will have a fold. So uh, yeah, that's so. That's this is what I want to show you real uh, quick. And I also made some words. And what I did was I uh, designed it all with coffee and tea type stained paper so that it all works together. So you have Halloween, you have scary, you have spooked, you have trick or treat with sweets and you have boo. And I designed it like this that the spookies are behind it so you can cut it with the spookies together. And I'm looking around where I kept that. Yeah something like this this was to try so this is a different size and a di and also a different um, but this is uh, a little bit an idea what you can do and then i was playing around with it and i thought it could even be a closure <laughs> like this so that you could use that as a closure so then it will look like this isn't that cute and I really love it that you see that edge and everything. So I also wanted to show you my other new uh, printouts. And um, this is the bubble um, the uh, with the colorful bubbles. So that looks like this. And here I cut that edge out. So. Uh, you could make this a front and a back cover. You could do really a lot. You could also fold that over and make or make this only this size the book. I will show you what size that is. So this is a six and a half, more a little bit over six and a half by um, 
the same. Almost. Yeah, six and a half plus uh, uh, two one eighth. So I can't pronounce pronounce that correctly. And this is uh, twenty eight and a half centimeters centimeters and cut out. It is seventeen. Yeah, seventeen and a, and a half uh, in length. So that is uh, the. Those are the measurements. But this this is uh, the bubble uh, brown baggie. So and that's now in my Etsy shop and also on sale. Everything is still on sale, so you can, um, yeah, <laughs> hurry up <laughs> and go. This is also one of the backgrounds that I have. And also with the bubbles. And this was my very... Oh, really? Wait a minute. And I also have this one. So I kept it a little bit plain, like uh, coffee and tea layered over each other. And then made a, made a border. So that one. And this um, I also have um, nail tags. I made this a little bit pink. But it goes together because I used the coffee uh, stained paper, so I layered that over my my ideas and designs. So this is something my mom sent me. So <laughs> that little heart, and I already uh, used it, mom. You see it? Isn't that cute? So this was really my very first design to try, and uh, I thought, well, that could be really cute so I talked about it with Lila and then we together came up with that idea to do it for Halloween so then I hurried up and changed this design into a Halloween design so this is how I started and this is also uh, brown baggy um, butterfly uh, so brown butterfly baggy that's what it's called and this is of course you can do this the front uh, make it a book also or print it also out onto that uh, brown paper so uh, yeah you can do really a lot with it and what I like about it is that faux stitch and I did do it a little bit messy so not that super neat <laughs> and here what I cut out is that a line that you see behind it so it's a little bit uh, it's uh, a, yeah, a shadow really what I try to mimic the shadow of the of this so that it's yeah good show if you see that in between that's how I started it and then I layered it so with flowers and this is just a paper and I stitch faux stitch around that and I use doilies these are free doilies from, from what I got from Canva so yeah so that's what you can get now and I'm really happy I also uh, printed this one out onto that um, brown paper bag thingy and I'm also working on some what I have now in my uh, shop also are tags and little um, things that you can use and here I stand this is also that brown paper and then I used the uh, ink, so I crumpled it up, used ink over it and then stamped on it and then used as the backing for my cards. So I also had this one and I did the same here. I used a stencil, so as you can see, that's over here beside me. I used this stencil and this stencil and I used some stamps that I have to clean. <laughs> and I also have these stencils. This is my favorite stencil, this one. So I use that a lot. So yeah. So this is now also in my shop and I made this one. It's also a cute card. I made with a butterfly with a rose and this on the inside. And this is also fun. This is a glassine bag. But then I made it a little bit bluish and then layered it with coffee stained and tea stained paper and also used a faux stitch here I used a pink one and here I used a little bit 
gray, dark gray one. So I will have to back that up and I uh, did the same with this. So I will cut it out. This is just a free shape that I got on Canva and this also. So here I did a also a few cutouts and I also made sort of a tuck. Yeah, I did use this and then half and then I thought this could be a tuck. So you can, uh, yeah, oh, only uh, glue this and then you have something you can put behind it. So all these shapes I got for free on Canva. So that's really... Um, yeah that's really nice <laughs> so that is what i wanted to show you this is my really my very new newest printable and they're all baggies so if you see the word baggies on my etsy store then you know i'm in the good place i don't have a lot of uh, stuff on my etsy i only want to um yeah I only want good stuff so I'm really working hard to make it uh, more um, professional and more worth your penny so uh, I only put something in my shop if I'm really happy about it and I double check everything but if you um, yeah if you see something and it isn't correct or you don't have something or, or I made a mistake please contact me through Etsy not uh, not on my YouTube so that I can keep that a little bit separate so I hope you guys uh, like it and I hope you can see it because the Sun is shining sometimes it's shining and sometimes it's not it's not so I'm gonna stop here a little bit with the glue so that's a little bit glaring <laughs> but well so please let me know what you think because this is really new. I never did something with Halloween or this is really my very first try for anything that's, uh, that is to do that has to do with Halloween. So I really would love to hear what you guys think. So this was a top loading and I don't know if I said it but this is a side loading pocket that I made. Am I a frame even? I think I am. So this is a side loading bucket and this is my very first page that I made with two baggies. <laughs> so please let me know what you think and I really love this one. I'm going to make this one I think after this. Yeah I'm in love with these colors so the, the soft colors. I really love this one but I really love this also. It's so playful and I just wanted to make something for children isn't that isn't that cute <laughs> yeah I really love it so so please let me know what you think and in the next video I'm going to work on the pages from the junk journal also my new print out and new printable um, yeah and I also want to work on my fall so the leaves are already here and um, I also found a flower that I pulled apart so that's also what I want to use and uh, yeah please let me know what you think because uh, this is all new so yeah did I tell you about those I forgot I, I'm so forgetful sometimes but I also made this one with, with these words and you can cut it out with every spooky thingy separately just like this one yeah I think I showed you <laughs> here I this was my first uh, try so this is uh, this is really a little bit tidy I tidied it up and with that scary I did the scary uh, creepy uh, <laughs> uh, font so yeah please let me know what you think I am so so curious what you all think about this uh, so i will see you in the next video and uh, please leave me a comment and uh, yeah i will see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching and for your support thank you bye i'm standing up now <laughs> doi, doi.